These are uh, robot drummers. To start backwards, they're, um, there's a solenoid, it's like a surplus, surplus industrial linear motors and uh, pneumatic pistons and things that are basically built for factories to punch out, you know, goods. And so we get them from eBay and uh, control them with MIDI devices. You basically control the electricity to it. You turn it on or you turn it off. And so as I'm playing the beat, it's just turning each drum, each pad into a uh, different on-off switch. You're actually hearing a real object be struck, but it's got the accuracy and uh, rhythm of a drum machine, and you can pre-program beats and quantize them. And uh, So there's like two worlds kind of interacting, like the perfect world of the drum machine and steadiness, and then the imperfect world of like machinery and robots and things you know, really being struck and the noise is changing. About a year ago I read in Make Magazine about the highly liquid chip, which is what I use. It's, um, it takes the MIDI signal from this cord and it, it uh, turns it into eight relay switches, eight on and off. So as I'm, like I explained before, you know, as you are, you can use any machine to make a beat and then you send it to this highly liquid chip. So that was about a year ago. Uh, it took about six months to really get like comfortable with the basic technology of controlling circuits and everything and how to build a safe circuit. And then, and now I'm just at the point where like, I just kind of have to figure out what kind of drums do I want to make. Like, do I want to go bigger, smaller, more compact, slicker looking? You know, these are, prototype A, B, and C, or one, two, and three. These are not like finished products. They kind of got, they, they got painted after they were finished. And, you know, it, it started like with just the raw machinery of the arm hitting the drum, and then things got attached to it to give it a look. But it always starts with like, just figuring out how to make the thing work, and then you get to like how, you, how it looks. And now I could start from scratch and build them a lot lighter and probably more compact. Although for this, it's kind of fun having it be big, but...